Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. I have had a ton of questions on how to remove a vase from your canvas once you've done a paint pour on it without smudging it all over the place. Because so many people have asked, I decided to split up a paint pouring video that I'm doing and also do just an individual video showing you how I do this. That way you can quickly get the answer to your question and go on and try it at home. So the first thing I do is I try to find a plastic cup that is wider at the base than my vase is. So when my vase sits on it, it is not sitting on the canvas. And ideally you'd want some space so that your fingers can get in there and be able to accurately pick up the vase. Sometimes that's easier said than done. So if you have the problem where this vase was like down here on your cup all the way at the bottom and there was just a little bit of a lip, you can take other cups of the same size and stack them and then you'll have multiple. So obviously for me I don't need it but this triples the amount of space you'll have to grab with your fingers. Now just be aware sometimes the vase is just going to be kind of tippy and you may have to touch part of it with your finger to stabilize it. So I will show you when I'm taking it off. And if that happens, just take a little excess paint and drip it down the side. I often have to do that when I paint a vase, so just keep in mind to save a little bit of paint just in case that happens. I'm going to jump into the painting and I will see you in a few when I take this off of my canvas. Okay, so I am ready to move my vase. If you would like to see this paint pour, go ahead and click in the description down below. You can see me making it. And also in the description below, you can see the canvas underneath and what happened with that. So I'm going to now go ahead and grab at the base and gently move it to another location on my table. You have to go very slow and it's very wobbly. And it's okay if you touch underneath the edge a little bit because that is going to drip and continue dripping. So I don't know if this is off camera, but I'm just setting it down very, very gently and carefully. And I'm going to wipe my hands off and then I'll show you where I set it down. This is where I set it down on my desk. So I'm going to leave it there until it is dry and then I will show you a clip of me taking it off of the cup. This does take at least a day before it's dry enough to the touch and I would probably let it sit several days just to make sure. And remember that the bottom of the vase, which is actually the top right here, uh, tends to be thicker because that's where the paint settles. So that is going to take twice as long to dry. So be very careful about touching that part. So for you, this was probably just a few magical seconds. For me, it has been probably two or three days since the paint was wet. So now it's fully dry so I can touch the whole thing and not be worried about ruining the paint. And I wanted to show you what it looks like once it's dry. So I can grab this and show you. Now, because the cup is not the same shape as the vase, let me make sure it's focused. Because the cup is not the same shape as the vase, there's actually not any paint keeping this stuck in here. So I just, this was kind of wedged in, so I'm just gonna take it out. So that's pretty easy. And there's no paint past the very rim. There are a few drops, which let's see if I can show this. So like here and here, a few little drops. Now, if I were to scrape at that, it would come off, but it would potentially pull off more of the paint. So I don't want to do that. One thing you can do that I have done before is to take a little bit of sandpaper and just sand those little dots. Sorry, the focus is going in and out so much. So you just could sand those little dots just a little bit and it should come right off. So the bottom is dry and look how cool that looks. I always wish the vase could turn out looking like the bottom because I probably will pour over this again. It's just a little bit dull. There's not much contrast. I think next time I need to make sure my paint is a little bit thicker. So while this is dry, I want to make sure that it is fully, fully cured underneath so I wouldn't seal this whole thing yet, and I would not rest this on its base. If I'm going to set it on a shelf, I would just set it like this. There's always a chance that if it gets a little bit warm, it could stick a little bit. So you could set some parchment paper under it, and that will keep it from sticking. 
I wouldn't use wax paper because often that will stick and won't be easy to come off. But if some does stick to the edge, you can just again use some sandpaper and try to get it off. So usually to seal these, I haven't done that many vases, but I usually use Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. It's a spray. So to do this, I would actually just prop the vase back up on the cup again and take it outside and put it in a box so that I'm not spraying everything around and spray this. This is very strong smelling. You don't want to do this anywhere enclosed. So it's best to do it in an open garage or... Um, if you have to do it indoors, have your, all your windows open, but I really wouldn't recommend it. You could also wear some sort of respirator. So the vase as it is now, it's a little shiny, but it's mostly matte because the paint was mixed with Floetrol. Floetrol dries down matte, and then once you spray it to seal it, it gets shinier and the colors get a little brighter. So here's an example of a vase that I did with the Rust-Oleum. You can see how shiny and vivid and pretty it is. So I'm not going to be sealing this one because I want to repaint it, and you might see that in an upcoming video. But in the meantime, I hope this video helped you to better understand how I remove my vase from my canvas so that I can then tilt my canvas and let the vase dry. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. If you have any other questions about any of the processes in paint pouring that I might do, please let me know. I could film a little video like this about any of the other things. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.